Right now we are in Providence, Rhode Island, and we are gonna go check out the Roger Williams Zoo. The main reason we came to the zoo was because all summer I promised Trash that we could go to the zoo, but since we were running all over the place, getting ready to go to Disneyland, we never made it to the zoo. So finally, we decided to come. And also, they're doing what they call the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular tonight, where they display like a bunch of pumpkins. So we're gonna go check that out later on tonight, but for now, let's go check out some cool animals. And the wildest creature of them all at the zoo is none other than Cool Stanley. We actually found Cool Stanley here at the zoo and he's representing the merch that you can pick up at benlawrence.spreadshirt.com. And I also dressed for the occasion by wearing the limited edition Halloween shirt that you can pick up at benlawrence.spreadshirt.com. Limited time only. This is Africa. I could be wrong though. I guess we have transported to the other side of the world. I, I thought we were in Rhode Island, but I guess this is Africa. I guess it really is Africa because check this out. There are some zebras right here, as well as some wildebeest. Just hanging out, look at this zebra. He's just staring at us, like he wants to get in the video. Check this out, it looks like the cheetahs have come out to say hello. I know when I go to the zoo, I usually don't actually see animals like this. But look at he's right there in front of us. That's so crazy. He's coming right up here to say hi. Right up, close and personal. That's so sick. <laughs> right down here are all the pumpkins. Later on tonight, we're gonna go check out all those pumpkins when they're illuminated. This goat looking animal is called an Uda. That's how you pronounce that, an Uda. And there he is right there. He has one long beard and his friend is right over here. I actually like the way this enclosure is set up. I like the waterfall with all the rocks. Inside this little cave looking area, there's actually some some pigs, some giant pigs right here. They look like warthogs or something. Oh, I guess they're, they're called they're called Red River Hogs. I don't know why, I, I just really wanted to go in the cave. I just, I love going in caves. Oh, abandoned cave, found Stanley. Gone, gone Roger Williams Zoo, spooktacular. Every time we see the animals, they come right over towards us because I think they have the food and the elephants know it. They know right now, and they're all excited. Look at look at the size of those things, man. Well, we definitely are in New England because they even have a Dunkin' Donuts at the zoo. Now, I feel like it's gonna get very repetitive if we go every single animal and say, hey, here's this animal, or ooh, look at this animal. So if you wanna skip ahead and just go check out the pumpkins, feel free to skip ahead and go see the cool pumpkins. But for now, we're actually gonna check out the giraffes. Well, actually, I don't think we're going to see any giraffes. Where's the giraffes? Sorry, son, but I don't think there's any giraffes. I think they must be inside eating dinner. Mm. It's okay. Maybe next time. Oh, the giraffe. There's the giraffes. There they are. They were inside eating. I don't know what this castle-like building is. Looks like an old haunted mansion or something. Just looks kind of cool. I thought I'd, thought I'd get it on camera. I have no idea what it is, though. They have a whole farm area at the zoo including some donkeys, and he has laid down to roll in the dirt. <laughs> Perfect timing, I, I just turned on the camera. I didn't know he was gonna do this, he didn't tell me, but just by chance, we, we caught a donkey just rolling in the dirt. We were over by, we were over by the camels, and we came across this like fortress looking building. I have no idea what this is, but I really wanna go in. This looks like a, like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. I don't know what's in here, but it looks kind of sick. Oh, maybe this is like Noah's Ark or something? I don't know. It looks like a fortress. What is this? Oh, Marco Polo? Oh, okay. It's Marco Polo's ship. As you can see by, by that plaque. I guess this is just supposed to be a ship. What, what is this? Oh, what? okay, now what is this? Okay, we, I, I think we just made it to Epcot. We just time traveled. Okay, we just time traveled back to Epcot. Oh, look, it's a ship. It's no longer a fortress. <laughs> it's we're a ship. 17... It's a ship right here. We're in 12, and it's, look at this. It's, it's Venice, Italy with the canals and everything. I, I think we took a wrong turn. I don't know what this is. It's, it's got some paper lanterns and look at this. 
Okay, this is not, I don't know what kind of zoo this is, but this is actually kind of sick. Looks like Epcot or something. But now let's let's make our way. How do we get out of here? What's that way? Okay, we'll go back. We'll go back this we'll way back towards the time. camels. All right, we'll go back through time. I like these lanterns though. Look at this. I like the lanterns. We'll go back through the ship though. Oh, Stanley's gonna Stanley's dark side of Roger Williams Park Zoo with Stanley. We'll go back the way we came. Well, actually, it says the journey begins here, and here's Marco Polo's trail, and there's actually some boat creaking noises. I like this though. What, what's down here? What is this? Oh, that's where they put the prisoners. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I feel like this is like a meet and greet area for Marco Polo, but we've made it back into, I like the, uh, like this fortress style thing. Oh, look, it's the Marco Polo trail we're on now. Now that kind of makes a little bit more sense. I like that though. That's, that's a cool little setup. So this, these must be all the stops that Marco Polo made and starting with the camel. It's one of their first stops. Oh, oh, I like this. It's like a themed kind of area. It's all themed with Marco Polo. Well, let's continue on the Marco Polo trail. Check this out. We've come across what are called the moon bears. Two bears. There they are over in the back. Looks like they're heading into a cave of some sort. This is their enclosure here. But looks like, oh, he's, he's re-emerging. There he is. It's a moon bear on the Marco Polo trail. There's the red panda right there, just snacking on his dinner inside his own personal tree house. Look at that. He's got a pretty pretty sweet little setup right here. And he's just snacking away, minding his own business, hanging out with his pal up there. Look at how close you can get to the bald eagles. That just blows my mind. I'm not even zoomed in or anything. I'm literally standing just this far away and they're right in front of you. You could almost reach out and touch them if you really wanted to. That's one thing I really love about the zoo is you can literally get so close to animals, they come like right up to you and you can almost touch them. Obviously there's glass and stuff in front of you preventing you from touching the animals, but it just blows my mind that you can get so close to these like exotic creatures and that's just such a cool experience. That's really why I love coming to the zoo. As you can probably tell, the sun is starting to set and the Halloween decorations have started to come out and they actually closed the zoo for two hours while they set up all the pumpkins. So right now we have to leave the zoo. Then we're gonna come back and check out the pumpkins. Two hours later. The sun has set and it is time to enter the trail of pumpkins. And right as we enter, there are some inflatable creatures here to greet us. Now that the sun has set, it's time to walk down the trail. Trash is gonna enjoy our popcorn. We're gonna check out some pretty sweet pumpkins. One thing I should add is if you wanna come out here, you have to pay a special ticketed price to get into this pumpkin event. Here's our first batch of pumpkins and they are guarded by this skeleton who looks like he's stabbing that pumpkin with a knife. They have this creepy voodoo cart on the way to the pumpkins. I don't wanna get my fortune read by that scary looking woman. We've walked around a decent portion of the zoo and still we haven't seen any pumpkins. Where are pumpkins at? Now we're starting to see some pumpkins. We are actually entering the fairy tale area. All the pumpkins in this area are themed to fairy tales, starting right here with Cinderella, an amazingly detailed Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs pumpkin. That is so sick. And Rapunzel from Tangled. Lots of Disney princesses out here. And it's the most beautiful Disney princess of them all. It's trash. Continuing on with the Disney theme. There's Anna, Elsa, and Olaf from Frozen. And also, they have the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. Lots of Disney characters out here in the pumpkins. I'm loving it. As this pumpkin states, we are now in the rainforest themed area of the pumpkin trail. Since we are at a zoo, of course there has to be some animal themed pumpkins. Sherlock Holmes is greeting us to the unsolved mystery section of the pumpkin trail. And right next to Sherlock Holmes, is a pumpkin representing the board game Clue. These pumpkins are themed to myths and legends like aliens, the Bermuda Triangle, and even Bigfoot. Keeping up with current trends, they have a whole area themed to Stranger Things. Now, I've never seen Stranger Things, so I have absolutely no idea what this stuff is, but I'm sure some of you will, so I'll include it in the video anyway. Like I said, I know nothing about Stranger Things. I just know that waffles have something to do with that show, so there's a lady eating a waffle and right next to her 
Is a boy holding an axe, or is it a man? I, I really have no idea. Somebody let me know in the comments below. Continuing on with Stranger Things, it looks like we have some kids with flashlights riding bicycles. Even though I have no idea what that monster is, I can admit that pumpkin is absolutely amazing. This is now the video game area, and what better way to start it off than with some Fortnite, the most popular game right now. I've never played it, but... All the kids are loving it. I thought this was Clint Eastwood, but I was corrected and told that this is John Marston from Red Dead Redemption. I am absolutely geeking out right now because they have a Kingdom Hearts pumpkin. Holy shit, that is so sick. The Kingdom Hearts 1 cover art carved in pumpkin form. I am absolutely geeking out right now. That is so sick. And right near the Kingdom Hearts pumpkin is a Final Fantasy 7 pumpkin. You have Cloud's logo there, and there's Sephiroth, Genova. You got Kadaj and his gang. I'm surprised Cloud isn't on the pumpkin unless I'm missing him, but that is so sick. Oh, is Cloud on the back? Oh, there's Sephiroth. Sephiroth's on the back with his sword. Looks like we are moving on into the sports-themed pumpkin, starting off with the Boston Red Sox. And there's one of their players right there. I believe that's David Ortiz. I know nothing about baseball, so don't judge me in the comments down below. Now we will move into the horror-themed pumpkins, which includes some Stephen King-themed pumpkins. And what better way to start off a Stephen King horror-themed area than with an It pumpkin, moving on from the Stephen King area. We're gonna head into creating a better world, starting off with Abraham Lincoln. RuPaul? Ha! Gandhi! Ha! I love how all that was supposed to be serious and we were just like memeing the whole time. Check out this Harry Potter pumpkin right here. There are actually a bunch of Harry Potter themed pumpkins out here. All sorts of different characters whose names I do not know because I have zero interest in Harry Potter. So we're going to continue on. I will show some more Harry Potter things just because I'm sure people in the comment section will love the Harry Potter and be kind of upset if I don't show it. I hear the Avengers theme song, and I'm looking at Deadpool, so we must be moving on into the superhero themed area. And there is Wolverine fighting the Incredible Hulk, and next to him is Black Panther. And Spider-Man's right there, swinging his webs on the front of that pumpkin. We have entered a massive area just chock full of so many different types of carved pumpkins. This is like a pumpkin carving overload right here. There are so many different pumpkins here and they go on and on and on all the way down to there. Check out this massive pumpkin. This is a legit pumpkin right here and it's all carved. That is a real pumpkin. I have no idea how they make a pumpkin that big but we're seeing it here. This section still goes on and on and right about here is where it ends. And to end this thing off, there's Stephen Hawking right there. The last pumpkin. And then there's the exit. And it looks like that was it. Thanks for coming. This is the exit. So we'll go down the exit path, catch up with Stanley and Trash, and then wrap this video up. Thank you so much for joining us as we went to the Roger Williams Park Zoo and checked out the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more adventures from cool places all over New England, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Right now we are at Roger Williams Zoo and today, I don't know what I- Now the reason we're at the zoo today is because all summer I promised Tresh we'd go to the zoo, but we never had time because we were running around doing all kinds of crazy adventures. So we finally had time, so we decided to go to the zoo and also they actually have a jack-o'-lantern display tonight. So I figured we'd get in the Halloween spirit by checking out some cool pumpkins. And I, we mostly, that was fucking stupid. It actually shows on this little map where all the animals are from. That's kind of neat. She's not cooperating. Look at him, just hanging out right there. A couple of bald eagles, nothing to look at, nothing to see. I don't know what this door is, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, it looks like there's an alarm on there. 
Not gonna, not gonna try to break in. No dark side of the zoo. No dark side of Roger Williams Zoo, but I wanna know what's in here. Probably leads to some kind of secret passageway into the rock area. Maybe, maybe another time we'll do the dark side of Roger Williams Zoo and, and break in, but not today. There's, there's some creepy music playing outside, but I think the scariest thing here is the line to actually park. We're sitting here waiting to park. This is, this is out of control. They even have some official merchandise for, <coughs> they even have some official merchandise for the event. That's pretty slick. All these pumpkins represent the sponsors of this event. And then here is a massive, Alice in Wonderland themed pumpkin. There's the size of a normal pumpkin. And that right there is a massive Alice in Wonderland themed pumpkin. As this pumpkin states, and the fact that the music has changed from fairy tale music to jungle sounds. And that man has walked in front of the camera. Just look at the amount of detail on that one pumpkin. All of these pumpkins are themed to things like myths and legends such as aliens. Little throwback to when Angry Birds was popular. I'm skipping over this Fallout pumpkin because I have just spotted a Kingdom Hearts pumpkin off in the distance. This must be the grown up section of the pumpkin carving area. My mom always said I wasn't allowed over here. And next to Hellboy, no, I should do it like this. And next to Hellboy is the Dark Knight himself, Batman. Thank you so much for joining us as we went and checked out the Roger Williams Park Zoo and the Jack-O-Lantern Spooktacular. I just called it the Spooktacular because we've been calling it that all day. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I really, really appreciate it. I know it was a lot of, look at this, and now we're on to this one, and take a look at this. It was very repetitive, and I understand that, so don't be too harsh in the comments down below. If you want to support the channel, click one of the links that popped up around my face. They lead to some pretty cool things, and I will see you in the next adventure. Wah!